Are you curious about the enigmatic history of angels? Have you ever wondered about the celestial beings known as cherubim and seraphim? What about the mysterious watchers and their role in corrupting humanity? And let's not forget the infamous fallen angel, Lucifer. Who is he, and why is he so closely associated with evil? If these questions pique your interest, then join us on a captivating journey as we uncover the complete history of angels. From their ancient origins to their significance in religious traditions, this video will delve into the celestial realm like never before. Prepare to be amazed and enlightened as we unravel the secrets of angels and their impact on human belief systems throughout history. Don't miss out. Watch until the end to discover the captivating stories and symbolism behind these celestial beings. The history of angels is a fascinating topic that spans across various religious and mythological traditions. Angels are celestial beings often depicted as messengers or intermediaries between the divine and the earthly realm. In this comprehensive exploration, we will delve into the complete history of angels, focusing on cherubim, seraphim, watchers, and the infamous fallen angel, Lucifer. The concept of angelic beings can be traced back to ancient civilizations such as Mesopotamia, Egypt, and Persia. These cultures believed in supernatural entities that served as divine messengers or protectors. However, it was in the Abrahamic religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, that angels gained significant prominence. Cherubim, one of the angelic orders, are often associated with the presence of God and depicted as winged creatures with multiple faces. In the Hebrew Bible, Cherubim are described as guarding the entrance to the Garden of Eden after Adam and Eve were banished. They are also mentioned in the construction of the Ark of the Covenant and the design of the Temple in Jerusalem. Cherubim are seen as powerful and majestic beings, symbolizing the Divine Presence and Protection. Seraphim, another celestial order, are mentioned in the Book of Isaiah in the Hebrew Bible. They are described as having six wings, with two covering their faces, two covering their feet, and two for flying. Seraphim are often associated with worship and praise, as depicted in Isaiah's vision of them singing, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord of hosts, in the presence of God. Their role is to serve as attendants to God and convey His messages. The Watchers, also known as the Gregori, are a group of angels mentioned in the apocryphal book of Enoch. According to this text, the Watchers were a class of angelic beings who descended to earth and became infatuated with human women. They taught forbidden knowledge and engaged in sinful behavior, ultimately leading to the corruption of humanity. This narrative portrays the Watchers as fallen angels who defied God's will and incurred His wrath. Now, we come to the enigmatic figure of Lucifer, often referred to as the fallen angel or the devil. The origin of Lucifer can be traced back to various scriptural passages and theological interpretations. In Isaiah 14 verse 12, a passage addressing the king of Babylon, a metaphorical description is used, how you have fallen from heaven, morning star, son of the dawn. This passage has been interpreted metaphorically as describing the pride and downfall of a human king. However, in Christian tradition, it has been associated with the fall of an angelic being named Lucifer. Lucifer is commonly depicted as a rebellious angel who, out of pride and desire for power, defied God and was cast out of heaven. The narrative of Lucifer's fall gained significant elaboration in works such as John Milton's epic poem, paradise lost. According to this interpretation, Lucifer, once a high-ranking angel, led a revolt against God's authority, resulting in his expulsion from heaven along with other rebellious angels. It is important to note that the concept of Lucifer as the embodiment of evil and the devil is primarily found in Christian theology. In other religious traditions, such as Judaism and Islam, the character and symbolism associated with Lucifer differ. In Judaism, the figure of Satan is often seen as an adversary or prosecutor rather than a fallen angel. 
In Islam, the primary adversary of humanity is Iblis, a jinn who refused to bow to Adam, but is not associated with the angelic realm. The belief in angelic beings can be traced back to the ancient civilizations of Mesopotamia, Egypt, and Persia. In Mesopotamia, for example, the concept of celestial beings known as Apkalu was prevalent. These Apkalu were considered divine sages who possessed great wisdom and were often depicted with wings. In ancient Egypt, the concept of angels or divine messengers was closely associated with the falcon-headed god Horus, who was believed to carry messages between the gods and humans. Similarly, in Persia, the concept of Yazadas emerged, representing divine beings who served as intermediaries between the material world and the spiritual realm. The prominence of angels further expanded within the Abrahamic religions. In Judaism, angels play significant roles in various biblical narratives. For instance, in the story of Jacob's ladder, angels were seen ascending and descending between heaven and earth, symbolizing their role as messengers and mediators. In the book of Daniel, angels are mentioned as protectors and defenders of God's people. Christianity also places great emphasis on angels, considering them as important figures in the divine plan. From the Annunciation, where the angel Gabriel appeared to the Virgin Mary, to the Nativity in the Resurrection, angels are woven into the fabric of Christian beliefs. They are often depicted as heralds of good news, protectors of believers, and participants in heavenly worship. Islam, too, acknowledges the existence of angels and their crucial role in the divine order. In the Quran, angels are described as obedient servants of God who carry out specific tasks. For example, the angel Jibril, Gabriel, is mentioned as the messenger who revealed the Quran to the Prophet Muhammad. Angels are also believed to record people's deeds and accompany them throughout their lives. The concept of guardian angels is prevalent across various cultures and religions. It is believed that each individual has a personal guardian angel assigned to protect and guide them. These angels are seen as benevolent beings who offer assistance in times of need and act as a link between humans and the divine. The symbolism of angels extends beyond their role as messengers and protectors. They are often associated with qualities such as purity, holiness, and divine grace. Their depiction in art, literature, and religious texts showcases their ethereal beauty and otherworldly presence. In conclusion, the complete history of angels is a rich tapestry woven through various religious and mythological beliefs. Cherubim and Seraphim represent celestial orders associated with divine presence and worship, while the Watchers are portrayed as fallen angels who corrupted humanity. The complex character of Lucifer, as a fallen angel and embodiment of evil, has been shaped by Christian traditions and theological interpretations. Exploring the history of angels provides us with insights into the diverse ways in which different cultures have understood and interpreted these celestial beings throughout the ages. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the complete history of angels. From cherubim to seraphim, watchers to Lucifer, we've unraveled the fascinating tales and symbolism surrounding these celestial beings. If you found this video informative and thought-provoking, we invite you to show your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. By doing so, you'll stay updated with our future content and join a community of curious minds exploring the mysteries of the world. So, hit that like button, leave a comment sharing your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more captivating insights in the future.